Hey everyone, Reese here, and welcome to Reese Rambles, the second channel of Control Alt Reese. Now, if I were a full time YouTuber with all of the uh, time and uh, resources that uh, comes along with that, today I would have been releasing a video all about the 40th anniversary of the BBC Micro and going into its history uh, and its story and, and how it came to be and all of that kind of stuff. Um, of course, there are plenty of other channels out there that are covering this today, so uh, I think it's well covered anyway. And of course, it's the first day of December, so I wanted to uh, put a video out to to uh, cover that. So look out for that video over on Control Alt Reese today. But I couldn't let today uh, pass by without at least acknowledging the occasion. And the reason for that is because the BBC Micro is a very important computer to me personally, um, as well as being important to the world of computing, which is something that I will uh, talk about a little bit later on uh, in this video. Um, this was the very first computer that I ever used uh, back in uh, Mrs. Ward's classroom, uh, back at Stokes Primary School, um, way back in the late 80s. And I distinctly remember the computer being set up in the corner of the classroom uh, on a proper computer trolley slash desk thing, uh, as people did back in the day. And uh, yeah, I remember playing Granny's Garden on it, um, and my very first experiences of programming with uh, stuff like Logo uh, and uh, Turtle Graphics, and uh, even a bit of BBC Basic, I think. Um, I don't really remember that in any great detail, but I'm sure we did touch on it. Um, and of course, I am now a software developer in my day job. In fact, I own a software development business. So uh, it kind of sent me down a path um, which shaped my entire life. <laughs> so I think it's it's, it's uh, definitely something that needs to be acknowledged. Um, and it's kind of hard to overstate how important this computer was to me. And of course, to many British people uh, who are of a similar age to me as well. The other reason that the BBC Micro is important to me personally is because of this. The Acorn Electron. Now, the Acorn Electron is the kind of cut down, baby, uh, affordable version of the BBC. Because the BBC, although the BBC was part of the uh, computer literacy program and was priced at a point where it would be accessible, um, obviously we did have the Spectrum and, and some of the lower cost machines at the time. Uh, and Acorn's answer to that was to release a slightly cut down version of the BBC called the Electron. And this was our very first home computer. So I do uh, very distinctly remember lying on the uh, living room floor in front of the TV uh, with my dad, uh, typing stuff into this and playing games on this, stuff like Boxer and, and Starship Command, um, Sphinx Adventure, the uh, text adventure, and yet again, doing a bit of uh, programming on it and uh, my first experiences of typing code into a computer and watching it run. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty big impression that this little machine made on me. And uh, we had it for a couple of years until we got the Atari STE in 1991. So yes, a very important computer to me personally. And as well as having that uh, personal connection for me, the BBC Micro is a very important machine because, of course, it was used as the development platform for the ARM CPU. Now, the ARM uh, isn't a CPU architecture that just uh, fizzled out of existence and uh, was just another curiosity of the 1980s, of course. Um, there is one in the mobile that I'm actually using to record this video. Uh, if you're watching this video on a mobile device or a tablet, uh, there's a very, very, very high chance that that also has an ARM CPU inside it uh, and they're also making their way into servers uh, they power set-top boxes and all that kind of stuff the Raspberry Pi and uh, all of the modern Macs the M1 uh, Apple Mac machines are using a direct descendant of Acorn's ARM CPU so this computer actually as well as kind of setting me on a path that uh, I followed in my adult life, um, has also pretty much shaped the entire world of computing uh, in a roundabout way in the modern world. And that's why I think it's very important to acknowledge it and uh, of course to uh, appreciate its history on today of all days on its 40th anniversary. So apologies that I couldn't put together a proper documentary style video uh, over on Control Lot Reese, but like I say, I just don't have the resources to uh, make every single video that, uh, that I'd like to make. Um, um, but hopefully uh, this is uh, enough to mark the occasion. Uh, this is my little salute and my little tribute to the BBC. Fantastic computer, uh, many happy memories for lots of people of a particular age, such as myself. And like I say, uh, very revolutionary for the world of computing as well. So there we go, the 40th anniversary of the BBC Micro.